Some of our readers may recall an article on our website from January regarding spilled beverages and their role in two Airbus A350 engine shutdown incidents. In fact, both led to diversions, with one flight operated by Delta Airlines flight while the other incident's airline remains unidentified. Well, Airbus has now developed a solution to prevent the same unfortunate issues from taking place should liquid spill in the same area. EASA Airworthiness Directive 2020-0090 states the following. This condition, if not corrected, could lead to a dual-engine in-flight shutdown, possibly resulting in a forced landing with consequent damage to the aeroplane and injury to occupants. The first recorded incident took place on November 9, 2019, approximately one hour after tea was spilled. While the airline remains unidentified, an Asiana Airlines A350 flying from Seoul to Singapore diverted to Manila that same day due to engine issues. Several months later, on January 21st, a Delta Airlines A350-900 flying from Detroit to Seoul, Incheon, Korea, experienced engine problems. This prompted a diversion just 15 minutes after a drink was spilled. Weeks after the January 2020 incident, an interim directive from the European Union Aviation Safety Agency, or EASA, officially defined a liquid-free zone within the cockpit to reduce the risk of liquid spilling into the risk area. Subsequently, in April, Airbus developed a cover for critical controls in the A350 cockpit to protect them from liquid spillage. EASA has instructed all A350 operators to install the new covers within 28 days. This is how that same EASA Airworthiness Directive describes Airbus's solution to prevent liquid from getting into cockpit controls. Airbus developed Mod 116010, introducing a removable cover for the Integrated Control Panels ICP, and issued the SB to provide modification instructions. This cover allows to protect the ICP completely, including engine master levers, thumb wheels and rotary knobs. It's been over half a year since EASA took action by first declaring the liquid-free zone. Now, Flight Global is reporting that Airbus has redesigned the vulnerable area known as the Integrated Control Panel, or ICP. The new ICP is liquid-resistant and designed to avoid the risk to engine systems from liquid spills in the cockpit. These new ICPs are expected to be mandated by EASA. Other reports suggest that EASA has proposed a directive that would require A350 operators to install the new panel within eight months. What do you think of this whole spilled beverage in the cockpit situation? Was it handled well? Was it a result of a lack of foresight by Airbus? Or is the blame squarely on pilots? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.